Well, it's not the 4th of July without a little fire, and my guest is adding that to his drink creations. Guess who is here? Cocktail content creator Nick Fritzky. <laughs> CCCC. <laughs> CCC. We love it. Good to see you. Good to see you too. I Thank mean, you. always, I mean, not just the drinks, but the attire. Well, I was you know, teasing him about the shirt. At least he didn't wear like the swimsuit full body version. <laughs> it's tricky with all the booze to have that beach body, and so I just buy one. So. And your wife said to you this morning, she said, why do you have to make a gimmick? Just wear it. Just, <laughs> just dress nice. Just Eilish. dress nice. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about this, adding a little fire to our drinks. Yeah, I think the big thing to talk about is safety. Okay. You know, it's just like fireworks, you got to be safe. You got to be cool. Have a fire extinguisher, have some water, but you can do it very, you know, gently. Okay. Um, the way that you have to do that is you have to have an alcohol that's 50 proof or higher. All right. So back in the day, proof was actually when you'd get your rum from your uh, ration, you'd set it on fire to make sure it was up to snuff. It was proof. Uh, okay. So they were proofing it. So what the, the best way I like to do is just hollow out a little bit of a half a lime, put it on top of a nice tropical drink, and then I'm actually using uh, this borderline illegal Everclear. Uh, at 95%. Borderline. Okay. <laughs> can't buy it in Michigan. <laughs> Got it. But then we just give a little flame, and you know, it's a nice blue flame that you can't see on TV. But there you go. Gotcha, gotcha. Trust All right. me, it's on fire. <laughs> you like trust us, yes. So be careful. I see it now. Yeah, now we see it. So, yes. uh, and then, you know, just to kind of put it out, I like to just snuff it out. Fire needs oxygen. So there you go. Your fire's out. Yeah. There you go, when it's out. All right. So yeah, a couple different high proof spirits. Those are great. You can find all these down here. You can find the low, you know, the legal version of Michigan of this one. Okay. All right. And if we want to play it with safer without, you know, any fire, I guess, yeah. but with some fireworks of a different kind, what can we do? Yeah. So the thing that I love is pot rocks. You know, the thing you have as a kid, they actually make a culinary version right here. And this is, um, it's like a carbonated sugar. And uh, what I do here is you can rim it. So if it's not super humid, you can actually rim the top of the glass. Okay. Today it is very humid. <laughs> so what we're going to do is just drop it in the glass to get that great firework effect. All right, let's do it. Um, the other thing I have is some nice colored spirits. And what I like to do is put them in a dropper, put that inside there, and then we get a nice little Pretty. firework effect with that. And then we're going to take some Pop Rocks and just kind of make a mess. I love it. I love it. Sima, Chris, come on and join us here. Oh, there we go. This is really Snap, beautiful. Crackle, pop. So what's your what's your beverage of choice, especially around you know this kind of weekend? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna say as a bartender, I'm kind of just liking beer. You know, just beer. simple, it's easy. Yeah. We got a couple nice low proof um, oh, well, beers over there, which uh -huh. are also delicious. All righty. Wow, thank you can hear that. You can hear, Any yeah. particular beer you? Oh yeah. You know what? Um, all the low session ales, so like the um, all day IPA, um, Mr. Blue Sky, all those great beers are great. Cheers to you. And if we want to find out more about your recipes and all that, where can we go? Uh, at Inbritsky on Instagram or nickdrinks.com. All right. Thank you so much for coming in. Always a blast. We'll make sure to have his recipes on our website, wxyz.com. Just check the scene on 7 section. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. <laughs>